after centuries of this dig, burn, dump, take at any cost economic system um, that our communities have suffered under, we came together to say actually there is a different way. People really taking back control of our own work, of our energy systems, of our food systems in ways that restore the planet, restore our communities, and bring us together. I remember seeing flares burning in the night sky, and because I was a child and fascinated by fire like most people, I thought it was really cool to see the light pulse from the light of the fire. Now I know that they were actually polluting us. They are putting chemicals into the air that were killing us. And so that gets us pissed off. Stop the burning now! When I got to Richmond and, the, and there was an explosion at Chevron, that's when I realized that I had to do something about this, that I was not going to sit by and allow some, some big corporation to just pollute the air and walk away. So our power represents an opportunity for us to reclaim not only our energy, but also our work and our democracy. And so when we talk about our power, it's not just about our energy power, but it's also about our people and economic power. My community is located in a region called Black Mesa, and unfortunately within the last uh, 40, 50 years, we've had a coal company that have come in and started uh, extracting coal uh, and using our pristine water to uh, slurry coal. So we understand the impacts of uh, these toxic being dumped on our community. I think it's time to unify our voice, and that's the only way we can really elevate our voice. What we are fighting in Jackson is racism. We are fighting uh, joblessness, low education, having air that is so horrible to breathe that people have asthma and bronchitis. What is it that we need to do? What needs to get through our skins to understand that if we keep going in the direction in which we're going, we're not going to have a direction to go in. So the folks here in Richmond have successfully gone up against Chevron and that's something that's really powerful and we want to be able to share, build and create something and really be able to work across cultures, across state lines, across these different issues to really be able to build a movement that could go up against these different systems that aren't healthy for our communities. What we're fighting is pollution. What we're fighting is um, people that are using the economy to funnel public money into the hands of corporations and billionaires. What we're fighting is um, an entire economy that's exploiting our people and that's excluding our people from participating. But Detroit also has a lot of community-led projects. It has a lot of food projects where people are growing their own food. To me, what's really important about being part of the Our Power campaign is that it does connect all those communities together. We're not alone, that we none of us can do this alone and none of us want to. CJA is really doing the work of, of carving out space for grassroots people, for frontline people, for indigenous people who want to bring forth their solutions. It takes us gathering together um, and building that strength and having critical conversations together um, in order to assemble the strategies that we're going to take to the international arena. And so we want folks to, to be organizing in your community and they commit, connect to the rest of us nationally that are organizing and be part of actually what's a, what's a global movement. So there's a need need to step away from the corporate energy model to really change it to a people's energy model. <laughs>